Hey guys, Silence Air here. Welcome back for more Digimon card game unboxing. As you can tell, I have on the table um, the rarest Digimon <laughs> booster set that has ever existed because it, it is extremely extinct uh, due to the limited amount of that was printed and um, there was no reproduction yet, I think. <laughs> so EXO2 and yes, once again, if you guys are coming over from the um, Duke Mon and the um, Air Force V Drummond team start deck video. Uh, you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. This this booster set is extremely extremely rare, and of course, once again, the Americans have just only received it. So if you guys are in America and watching my content right now, you will probably want to consider buying up or as much EXO2 as possible. Because um, the Japanese side it is now an extinct booster set, but I'm lucky enough to find six boxes. <laughs> I couldn't get a case, um, you know, because how rare it is. And luckily enough, I didn't have to import this from Japan, unlike the start decks. So I'm very, very fortunate to find a store that in Singapore that still had. Uh, a few pieces left so yeah let's get down to cracking these baby up and as like i told you guys about the start decks um digimon tamers was my favorite series and sadly enough this booster set featured digimon tamers so i'm i was really bummed out when i heard that this was extinct and i couldn't get my hands on any more of the tamer cards um you know by opening boxes i mean you could find singles but the the cards are so expensive that, you know, I'd rather just try and source out boxes even if it's from Japan because it's still technically cheaper than buying singles from players itself. So anyways, let's get down to opening the first box. I'm gonna uh, cut forward after I've like snipped away the top portion of the booster packs. So here we go. Okay, so now with the packs cut open, um, technically there are actually fewer packs um, than in a regular booster. This one has 12 packs, if I'm not wrong, yeah, 12 packs. But each of the packs actually come with a lot more cards and of course, um, they actually come with, I think, double parallel foils in some of them, I think so. I might be wrong, I've not really watched a lot of unboxing of the EXO2 before. So this is technically my very very first experience with EXO2 openings. Um, like I said, I've never bought any of these before. Um, neither have I seen any of these pack openings before except for maybe in the official Digimon um, card game Japanese YouTube channel. So here we go. Um, just like all my unboxing videos, I'll probably just read um, the first one that has ever appeared and then um, skip the remaining. Um, you know, so Malfrey's Mond, um, upon appearance, draw two. Then, after that, from your hand, discard two. Uh, inheritance ability at, upon attacking once per turn. Um, the discard one card from your hand. Then, of course, memory plus one. Then, of course, we have QB Mon, um, on play ability. Top three cards of your deck open within those cards. If you have, uh, what do you call that? Prag, Prag in. So yeah, I guess it's the option card. So it's the, the one with the chips and all that. You know, the ones that you see the Digimon Tamers slide and in, scan into the uh, Digivices. Uh, yeah. So plug in option card, one copy, add to your hand. Um, then after I place the remaining back to the bottom of the deck in any way you like. Inheritance ability, do your own turn once per turn. Um, what? your own cost to and above option card you can activate it um oh so if you, if you play your own cost to and above option cards that uh, this turn one of your opponents digimon minus 2000 in power so that's not too bad and of course we have the interesting mother reaper deck that is actually present within this booster set so that's pretty cute um so we have adr number 07 um, Pratis head. What? I have put po, ha Paratis head. Did I read this correctly? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, main effect. Um, during your your oh wait, your own Mother the Reaper. 
uh, if it's present uh, this digimon you can rest it then of course this digimon's dp uh, and below one of your opponent's um, digimon delete so if if one of your opponent's digimon has lower dp than this fella and you rest it you basically delete it so that's pretty cool um ice devimon very very nice artwork though all right upon attacking um, if your opponent has a level 4 and below Digimon without its evolution stack below So yeah, if, if it's just a vanilla card by itself without any evolution below You can choose one of them to return to hand Oh, so that's, that's okay, it's decent, it's not the worst uh, Devi Dramon uh, Michizure, so what is this? Oh, so this it's the... Um, how do I explain this ability? If this Digimon dies, the attacking Digimon that kills it dies with it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a Kamikaze effect. Um, then of course, it's Inheritance ability upon attacking. The top two cards is discarded. And we have more Mother the Reaper teammates. Here we go, ADR04. Um, Baburus. Did I read it correctly? I have no idea, Baburus. Anyways, <laughs> security effect. So if this, what? ADR02, such a one copy add to hand, such a what? I have. Okay, so that's very interesting. So it, it's a security effect. So if this is security checked out, if you have uh, ADR02, such a, you can from your hand, add it to your Mother the Reaper's evolution stack below. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I guess, I guess that's the winning method. I don't know. I wanted to play Mother the Reaper deck just for fun because it's kind of like the only villain deck um, or rather the, the kind of like Digimon boss decks that actually does have some kind of stand in, in no matter what meta era it's currently at it within BT10 um, onwards I guess um, currently from BT10 to BT1 so it's a pretty fun interesting deck but sadly to say most of the cards are stuck in EXO2 so it's pretty hard to find some of the cards and of course it has its own playability um, your own ADR02 searcher one copy from hand um, Oh, it's the same ability. So it's it's the same effect on play and you know security checking. So mm, I don't know. Anyways, um, Graumon, um, upon attacking DP two thousand and below opponents, Digimon one copy is deleted. Uh, if you have a red tamer around, um, you can change the effect to four thousand and below. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So it does go well with the Dukemon start deck. I guess you can replace the one that is in the start deck itself. This is pretty decent. Then it has this inheritance ability upon attacking once per turn. This Digimon's name is Gra uh, has Gramon in its name or Dukemon. Um, DP 3000 and below opponent's Digimon is deleted. So that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so we have our first plugin, Cho Shinka Plugin S. Yes, this is the um, plugin that most of the Digimon Tamers and Tamers actually use to evolve from Rookie to Champion. Um, then, of course, later on, we have Kulumon who does most of the hard work later on and the blue card. So, <laughs> so if you have a Digimon Tamer around, uh, you can ignore the color conditions. Main effect, draw one. Then after that, um, your one of your own Digimon from your hand uh, evolve. Oh, that is cost three and below. You can call e evolve. Okay, onto one of your Digimon without paying the cost. So that's pretty cool. Then security effect. Um, top three cards of your deck open within them. Take one Digimon card add to your hand. Um, then put the rest back into the bottom of your deck in any manner you like and then after, after that add this card to your hand so very useful for the Renamon deck um, especially if you are playing the Sakuya Mon Miko Mon series no. and we have Megaro Graumon from EXO2 don't know if we can replace the one from the ST but let's take a look 
Um, upon attacking DP 4000 and below, opponent's Digimon uh, 1 copy is deleted. If you have a Red Tamer around, change the effect to 6000 and below. So pretty much the same as the Graumon, just that it's uh, the ultimate version. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Then of course, it's Inheritance ability during your own turn. Um, yeah. What? So if... Du yeah, during your own turn, if you have uh, DP, um, DP deletion, then you gain 1000 power. I, I think I read that right. I might be wrong because the, the, the writing of this is a very confusing. So, Jibun no Haki Suru DP Shometsu Ka Shometsu Koka no Juken. So, yeah, so the deletion effect um, upon deletion. So, yeah, you gain 1000 power. I think oh no 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 so if you have any deletion abilities like let's say for example this one so you can increase the uh, the deletion by 1000 so instead of 6000 it becomes one seven thousand but of course you know it doesn't affect itself naturally it has to be the card above it um, so yeah so that's that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool okay I think I got it right this time around so anyways um, then we have uh, Des Slika Slinger? Death Slinger! Oh my goodness, it's an English word, but it's so difficult to pronounce. Anyway, Kono Karo Deki Hakai Sare Toki Memory Plus Ichi. So, when this card is dele um, discarded from the deck, um, you can gain one memory, then its main effect, level 4 and below opponent's Digimon 1 copy is deleted. During your own, uh, in your own trash, if you have 10 cards, for each 10 cards, I guess. Um, then you gain me uh, level plus one. So yeah, so for each 10 cards in your discard, you can increase the level of destruction um, by one. So level four becomes plus becomes level five. If you have 10 cards, if you have 20 cards, it becomes level six and below. So that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Anyways, here we have our first rare. And of course we have Lee. Um, the the only I think the only Chinese tamer we have in Digimon series <laughs> I think so. So during your own start of turn, um, if your memory is at two, you can shift it to three. And um, during your own turn, if you have a uh, Garugomon or Rapidmon, um, name Digimon around and attacking this tamer, you can put to rest. Then of course, opponent's Digimon one copy is rested as well. So yeah, that, so you tap this tamer to tap another of opponents. Oh, we have Mother the Reaper. Here we go. So we have two rares. So each pack has two rares. So I guess you probably can have one rare and one parallel. So Mother the Reaper, I... Oh, it's a blue card. So very strange. The... Um, this Digimon appear when it... On play. Uh, when this Digimon comes to play, um... Your own mother, the Reaper, one copy. What? Okay, so you take seven of Mother the Reaper's evolution stack uh, and destroy them. Then after that, this card can be summoned out for zero cost. Holy crap! So that's why this thing is at 20 cost for summon. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, so yeah, you delete seven of Mother the Reaper's uh, evolution stack and then you can summon out for free. Um, so cool, then... Okay, so it has the rush ability plus upon attacking your own trash ADR searcher, two copies, um, is added to this Digimon's evolution stack in any manner that you like. Then this Digimon is active again. Oh wow, so... Okay, so it attacks, it taps itself, then you add the two searches below, then you restand itself, then you can attack again. So that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. So we don't need this. I don't know if I should keep one of this since this set is kind of extinct. <laughs> but still, either ways, I'll put this around somewhere. Let's take a look at the next pack. We're already taken a lot of time just explaining one pack alone. There are a lot of cards in this series. So yeah, anyways, um, ADR08 uh, Optimizer. So yeah, on a plate. 
on player ability, attacking ability once per turn. Um, your own mother, the Reapers, Evolution 5, cost 5 stack and above. Um, present around, do your own deck top 3 cards open within them if you have the Reaper, I guess, name cards you can um, summon them if they are a total, I think. Tojo cost ni uh, ju ika no kado. So if it's like 10 cost summon uh, below, I think you can just summon out without paying its cost. Um, then after that, put the rest of the cards back in to the top of the deck in any manner that you like. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna ignore the rest of the cards that we've already seen. Locomon, uh, during your own turn, this Digimon's uh, from hand. You can evolve to Grand Locomon uh, and have its evolution cost minus one. So that's interesting. Jamming ability for Shisamon. So pretty cool. Andromon blocker. Then of course, um, during opponent's turn, this Digimon gains 2000 DP. So it's an 8000 blocker on opponent's turn. Very cool. Then we have ADR05 Kuri uh, Pan Panza. Kuri Panza. Anyway, um, opponent's turn, your own Mother the Reaper is around. This Digimon gains blocker. Uh, so yeah, so it's a blocker for the D Reaper deck. So that's pretty nice. And we have Garo Gomon. Uh, during your own turn, this Digimon evolves. When this Digimon evolves, um, if you have a green tamer or uh, Irunara, yeah, so around, if you have a green tamer around, the evolution cost for this Digimon is minus by one. So it's a one cost evolution for when you have a green tamer present. Inheritance ability during your own turn, once per turn, opponent's Digimon um, rests. When one of your opponent's Digimon is rested, um, put to rest um, this turn, then this Digimon gains 2000 DP. So basically the whole green deck for... Um, uh, what's his name? Terriamon! Terriamon's deck is gonna be all about resting Digimon and gaining power and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so... Raprulamon. Um, no effect except for inheritance. Upon attacking once per turn, this Digimon gains jamming plus memory plus one. This is actually pretty good! <laughs> Jamming plus memory plus one, that's, that's pretty nice. Why do I not see this being played more frequently? This card is pretty useful. Anyway, Lovemon, so on, a, on playability, your own security tree and below. Um, who's this Digimon? Lee, Lee Shao, oh, I guess it's the sister. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I don't remember the sister being a Digimon Tamer, but anyways, um, when you have the sister around on the field, um, then you have a recovery ability, so that's pretty nice as well. What is this now? This is an uncommon. Uh, Gokumon, Gokumon, so this guy's on Digimon, uh, no, I mean Dragon Ball, I don't know. Anyways, um, Saikido, so basically it's the reboot ability. Then, during opponent's turn, once per turn, opponent's Digimon active na tatoki. So when, when opponent's uh, Digimon stands again, active, becomes active again, um, this Digimon gains the de-evolution ability, um, so you can de-evolve one of opponent's Digimon. So that's pretty, pretty nasty. Um, yeah, and you can't, you can't de-evolve um, past level 3. So yeah, anyways. Oh, we have Juri! So yeah, she's the very sad tamer um, that lost Leomon. Yes, the tragic tale of Leomon. Whenever he's around, he always dies <laughs> in any Digimon series. Very, very tragic. I don't understand why he is such a law. But anyways, um, on playability, um, your own hand, if you have Leomon, you can summon it out for free. Um, so that's pretty good. Then opponent's turn. When opponent's Digimon attacks, you can tap this Tamer and then draw one. Of course, security as usual. Uh, any Tamer card has the same ability. If it's a security check, you can play it out without paying its cost. Alright, so we have uh, Doborumon. So, yeah, rare card from hand. 
this card comes out to play um, your own Alice McCoy so it's a tamer if you have Alice McCoy around then this summon cost is minus by two so that's not too bad um, on deletion effect top four top three cards of your deck is discarded um, in your own trash if you have a purple Digimon card or a purple team tamer card you can so yeah it's either a Digimon or a tamer you can add one copy to hand so that's not too bad and of course ooh, we have Sakuyamon very very nice so our first SR I think it's our first one so the last few were all rares so evolution ability your own Digimon one active so you can act have one of your own Digimons active if you have I think yeah you must have one tamer around then your own trash you can take one plug-in name option card and add to your hand during your own turn um, two costs and above you can use one two costs and above option card um, this turn opponent's Digimon 3000 DP minus so if you use okay sorry I have to retranslate that properly um, during your own turn if you activate a uh, two cost and above option card during your turn um, this turn opponent's Digimon of one copy gains minus DP 3000 so yeah the whole Rainamon deck series basically just um, chains option cards and minus opponent's DP so I'm going to put this here where you can see all right so let's let's try and hasten it up so i think we've gone through some of the cards already so we've already gone through this we've gone through this so let's fast forward a bit uh plug in s we've seen this already ground one we've seen already so we can start to hasten things up okay we've not seen this yet adr um horn striker that's pretty cool uh during your own turn if you have mother the reaper around this digimon gains um uh rush yeah, so so it's a super offensive via um, Digimon. So anyway, oh, Gigimon looks so cute. <laughs> Look at that smiling apple. It's like, help, don't eat me. <laughs> so yeah, uh, inheritance ability uh, uh, on attacking once per turn. Um, this Digimon's name has Gilmon or Graumon or Dukemon. Um, you basically can draw one. So that's that's one of the main reasons why is this thing is like so powerful for any deck that has you is using ground one so yeah very very useful digitama and here we have another tamer uh kita tawa kenda tawa kenta kenta so kenta san kun <laughs> uh so during your own turn from your hand if you have marine angelmon you can summon out um and minus its appearance cost by one huh I thought it would be summoning up for free. Anyways, <laughs> during your own turn, if you um, if you have blue Digimon um, summoned, then you can rest this tamer opponent's one Digimon. What? Um, so yeah, you remove one of his evolution line um, from below and destroy it. But you know, so. Yeah, just delete one of his evolution line at the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, if you if you summon Marine Angelmon, uh, opponent's whole entire line is destroyed instead of one. So yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. So yeah, you 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 could activate his effect to summon Marine Angelmon, delete the entire evolution line. Um, so. This is actually pretty good for maybe against Alphamon, I guess. Alphamon and Black Wargreymon decks nowadays, I, I guess. Probably a most budget fun way to annoy people at this point in time. So we have more Lee and... Ooh, is this an AA? Or rather, what we know it as Parallel. Uh, Maggie Doramon, so... Hmm, SR. Parallel Rare. That's pretty interesting. Have we gotten this before? No, I don't think so. So I have to read the effect. Kono uh, Dejimon no Namae wa Chaos Dukemon. So it relies on Chaos Dukemon. 
Um, oh, it's, it's also called Chaos Duke Mon, so. Anyways, um, evolution ability, DP 10,000 and below opponent's Digimon, uh, one of them is deleted. Then, opponent's Digimon, when deleted, both players' deck top 5 are discarded. Oh! Red and purple! Wait, this one can go well with EX03! <laughs> oh my goodness! EX03! So yeah, EX03 is actually releasing the red and purple Gil, uh, Gilmon deck line, so that's pretty cool. So I guess EX02 can work with EX03. Huh, I didn't know this card existed, so I guess it's, it's a good time to open this pack as well. Then of course it's it's got this deletion effect um, from your own ha uh, own hand or trash. Um, take one Gilmon or I think that's Takato, yeah, the tamer. Um, and yeah, Gilmon and Takato. So if you have Gilmon and Takato both in your trash. You can actually call them out onto the field without paying its cost. This thing is pretty badass. Dang. I am actually looking forward to playing EX03 now because of this card. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Let's put this here. We are only in the first box and we are looking at a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I apologize as usual if this video is very long but you know looking at all the cards. Um, so ADR, you know, do I actually need to explain all this? There's actually a wiki with all the English effects. So I'm getting a bit tired and the video is getting a bit long. So if you guys want to know what the effects are from here on, I'm just going to run through all the cards. Go check them out on the official Digimon wiki. Um, for Asia side, they actually have the effects in English. Uh, of course, if you guys are in America, there, are, there is actually the English version of the wiki as well so you can check out the effects there since the booster set actually came out in english recently so we have the finishing move for leomon which also can be used by bezopmon so that's pretty cool and plugin a so it's kogeki plugin a so attack plugin a so that's pretty cool um high speed plugin d and of course storike doramon then we have the Choshin Ka plugin S. And we have the other more common cards that we've seen already. And we have Hopmon, so one of the Digitamas in this set. And we have I and Makoto. So these are the tamers for Impmon. If you guys watch the Tamer series, you'll know how adorable um, the story for Impmon is. And of course we have Antiramon, so that's pretty nice as well. Let's keep going. Okay, QBmon, we've seen this already. ADR07. Gorimon, we have not seen this. Pretty nice artwork. Lockmon, we've seen this already. Garugomon, we've seen this. Gromon, we've seen it three times. ADR08, we've seen it twice now. We've seen it three times. New Baby Digimon. Uh, Gumimon, so that's pretty cute. We have seen you as well, Judy. And we have Gilmon, so this is from ESO2. Um, pretty usable. <laughs> I forgot his name, but it's kind of cute. Um, so yeah, maybe I might explain this because it's one of the key cards in this set. Um, upon play, top four cards of the deck open. If you have uh, Guraumon, Duke Mon name cards inside there, and of course Takato, if you have the Tamer, you can add one of one of Graumon or Duke Mon and Takato if Takato is present so then after that replace the cards back to the bottom of the deck in any way you want Inheritance ability upon attacking once per turn this Digimon's name has Graumon or Duke Mon in it um, DP 3000 and below one opponent Digimon is deleted so not too bad not too bad I don't know uh, I, I think most people will play this and the ST deck Gilmon um, so, oh, Mother the Reaper, is this a Digitama? It is a Digitama! I've been wondering, because when I saw people play the Mother the Reaper deck, um, they always flip this 
or rather it's always in the raising area so i was wondering if it's really a digitama and it really is so this is really my first time looking at this card so i i was pretty curious <laughs> okay now my curiosity has been fed so let's move on plugin a we've seen this already plugin d um strike draman okay plugin s adr05 andromon adr04 uh devi devi drama and a new baby Shaomon, that's pretty cute, although the artwork looks a bit lazy, but anyways, moving on, ooh, what is this? It's an uncommon, Parasimon, oh, upon attacking, oh wait, After, when the attack completes, um, this Digimon, what? What? I don't get this, Shinkamoto no. Ichiban shita. What is it? I okay. I'm really confused about this effect. Uh, anyways, um, if you need to know what it is, I cannot remember or I can't really understand this text. Uh, yeah, that's it's really confusing Japanese. But anyways, <laughs> you can check out the website, the wiki for its effect. I don't see people playing this, so. Hmm. Anyways, uh, inheritance ability security plus one. Uh, during your own turn, this Digimon gains two thousand DP. So, hmm, 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 and ooh, ooh, what is this at the back? What is this? Okay, it's definitely a parallel, but um, I have a feeling it's something that I may not want. Cyber Dramon, so that's pretty good for ju um, what ju Justice Mon? Yeah, Justice Mon. So, oh, it's a parallel for Gabro Mon. Okay, it really is something that I do not want, but might be useful. Blocker, um, upon play, opponents, until opponents turn end, next turn end, uh, this Digimon, Digimon, one of your Digimon gains DP plus 3000. So, hmm. okay, so it's, it's okay, it's okay. So we have two parallels out from the box already. I don't know if it's that kind of situation where um, EX boxes have two parallels in one box. Oh, we finally see the Searcher. Um, this card is pretty expensive because you need multiple copies of it to play the Mother Reaper deck. So, ah, we finally see Grand Locomon. Okay, let's keep going. And we have Taumon, first time appearing. So, yeah, uh, evolution ability. Uh, if you have uh, Maki no Ruki So if you have Ruki in your hand Which is the tamer for Renamon um, You can actually play it onto the field for free So that's pretty awesome actually Then inheritance ability during your own turn Once per turn um, If you use a cost 2 and above option card This turn our opponent's Digimon one copy minus 2000 dp so as you can tell the entire line for sakuyamon is just reducing dp for opponent more gilmon and what is this now Gulfmon. okay so shinkaji uh upon evolution either player's hand five copy is discarded what both players discard five cards in their hand that's just awesome i think Kind of control um, during your own turn, uh, once per turn. Jibun no koka, jibun no tefura hakai shita. Um, during your own, um, your own effects when you discard your own cards, uh, one of your Digimon is active. So this own effect, both players discard hands. Then because of his own effect, you activate his second ability. You can active this Digimon or one of your own Digimon again. So. Like let's say for example, for example, this guy's attack, then he uses his effect. Uh, or maybe the, the, the Digimon below it has already attacked, you evolve over it, then you discard both players' hand and you reactivate itself. So it's pretty okay. Um kind of a fun deck, I guess. <laughs> pretty annoying. Uh especially since it's all deck out base. Then of course let's let's take oh this ADR03, so we've not seen that yet. A local Grand Local Mon, we've seen this already. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, lots of Gilmon. And we finally see Ruki. 
So yeah, so Sakuyamon deck, this is definitely a must. If you guys are wondering what's the most expensive card in this EX02 right now, it's actually this Tamer in her parallel form. <laughs> uh, aside from maybe um, Duke Mon Gallant mode, I think. Um, I think that's the only two cards in this set that's really, really expensive. So let's keep going. Yep, lots of Godimon, Lopmon, we've seen this before. Let's keep going. Ice Devimon. Mega Round. Oh, this is new. Monodramon. So, on playability, top four cards of your deck open within them if you have a black tamer. Um, what? So, no, naka no. Kuro tamer. Subete. Oh, wow. It takes all the tamers, all the black tamers to hand. So, if you have more than one black tamer inside that four review, then wow. Okay, then you turn the rest of them to the bottom back anyway. One, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Could I play this with Dark Knight Mon's deck? That's that's something to consider. <laughs> Renamon, finally we get to see on, and we have the parallel art of Antiramon. So yeah, you can see Lee's sister riding on top of it. That's pretty adorable. Okay, I'm I'm liking. Oh, there was there's actually more than one parallel. So there's one, two, three parallels in one box so that's pretty awesome okay let's keep going we've seen all of this already I'm just gonna skip through them um yeah okay we've seen this already new baby pokemon very cute renamon and cyber dramon okay all right all right this is getting a bit messy here very very messy should start putting stuff in the box from the next box onwards. Locomon, Gaomon, let's keep going. And new tamer, and we finally have the Alice McCoy. Yeah. So during your own turn, once per turn, level five, uh, your own level five Digimon that evolves to level six, um, one of your own Digimon. Uh, gets deleted. Shinka Costo, minus three. What? Okay, so once during a turn, when one of your Digimon is deleted, the evolution cost from. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, I got this wrong. So the ones during your turn, um, when you evolve a level five to a level six, Delete one of your own Digimon and reduce the cost of evolution by three. That's it. That's it. That's the proper translation. Oh my goodness. Security. Yay. Same thing. All tamers get to summon out for free when it's get security check. And here is her tamer Digimon. And of course, we finally see Leomon. Oh my goodness. It looks nice. <laughs> All right. Moving on. More plugins. I'm gonna put this here. The local Mon. Such a yeah, let's keep going. We've seen all of this now. Okay, okay, and I am Makoto, and we finally have Takato appearing, our main boy. So I think we've got all the Digimon tamers out. I think so. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, during your own turn, um opponent's Digimon gets deleted. This tamer sets it to rest, memory plus one. During your own turn, Jibun no Digimon. If you have a uh, Duke Mon or Graumon named Digimon around, Shinkasu. Oh, when it evolved. So, Duke Mon, when you have your own Digimon that evolves into Duke Mon or Graumon, um, this turn that Digimon gains um, upon evolution, Shingeki, um, which is the What's this? What's that term? I can't remember. Is it rush? No, 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 it's not rush. Um, basically, if the memory goes over to the opponent's side, you can still use that Digimon to attack. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is this is the awesomeness of the Duke Mon deck. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna stuff my cards into the box, and I will see you guys in a short moment once we go into the next box. We are back with box number two. So from here onwards. Unless I reveal something we've not seen before, 
we are going to skip through the cards. So here we go, we're going to fast forward quite a bit at this point of time. Oh, Fireball! So if you guys are playing uh, BT10 right now and you're playing Crossheart, this card is probably the most familiar for you guys. So main effect, um, DP3000 and below opponent's Digimon of one copy is deleted. If this effect does not activate, um, then of course it becomes draw 2. Then of course security effect, it just activates its main ability. And we have Terriamon finally making its appearance. Very nice, lovely artwork during your own turn. Uh, once per turn, if you have a green Digimon Tamer around, memory plus one. Oh, and we finally have our first Duke Mon. Very, very nice. So during your own turn, this Digimon gains 2,000 DP, so it's 14,000 by itself. Uh, and then of course, the second ability during your own turn, if you have a red tamer around, um, and if you have DP deleting abilities, gain plus 2,000 to the quantity. So very, very cool. Uh, upon attacking, DP uh, add up a total of 6,000 and below DP. Opponent's Digimons uh, are deleted. So let's say, for example, if they have three rookie Digimons with 2000 DP, um, all three of them is deleted together. So that's very, very cool. So I'm going to put this here and we have tossed the rest into the box and let's move on to the next booster. Oh, Rapidmon. So this is our first. Occurrence with Rapidmon, uh, uh, upon evolution, if you have a green Digimon Tamer around, opponent's Digimon 1 copy is put to a rest position. Uh, inheritance ability, once per turn during your own turn, opponent's Digimon when uh, is put to rest. Um, that for this turn, this Digimon gains security attack plus 1. So pretty pretty cool. Alright, first appearance of Lee's little sister on play. Um, in your own hand, if you have Lokmon, you can summon it out for free. Um, then of course, during the start of your own turn, um, if your security is below 3, you can draw 1. So, that's pretty cute for any fact. Impumon, also a first appearance. Oh, this god, god, this ability is long. Um, if, I'm not going to read it because it's too long. If you guys want to know what it does, go check out the official Digimon Wiki um, for either the States or Asia. It has the English translations there, so go ahead and check it out. Alright, first uh, appearance of blue car. So if you have Digimon Tamers around, um, ignore the color conditions. Main ability, um, from the top of your deck, open 5 cards, then choose one of the Digimons within that that is not a color that is white. Um, then of course, um, I think you have to pay the cost. Maybe, no, ignore the cost. Ignore the cost and evolve that Digimon uh, using that Digimon card that you picked out of the five and yeah if not if you can't evolve a Digimon with that card you add that card to your hand put the rest back to the bottom of the deck in any way you want then of course security ability um, if you have a Digimon Tamer card in your hand you can summon the card for free that's pretty cool Yamon, so this is the baby for Impmon. <laughs> I'm liking the artwork in the background. Uh, during your own turn, if your trash has more than 10 cards and above, um, that this Digimon gains 2000 DP. 
Kurumon! Finally, we see the appearance of this adorable Digimon. Alright, so it's gonna be a doozy to read. Um, from your hand, when this card appears onto the field, if you have Gilmon, Terriamon, or Gilmon, or Terriamon, or Renamon, or Impmon, um, then the summon cost for this is reduced by one, uh, by two. So it, it pays one cost to summon up to the field. Oh my goodness, that's really cheap. <laughs> During your own turn, this Digimon cannot attack. During your own turn, the your own Digimon evolves. Uh, you can rest this card and memory plus one. So it reduces the evolution cost by one. Then you also get to draw. Then of course, Jibun no Digimon. You, you can choose one of your own Digimon to gain DP plus 3000 this turn. This is actually not bad. Oh! Best of Bobmon! So the first appearance of our badass little biker bro. Uh, uh, I think it's still playable in this era, but you don't see a lot of people playing it. Kono kado deki kara haka sareta toki jibun no flash impmon ichi mai costo. Okay, so when this card is discarded from the deck to the trash, if you have an impmon in your trash, you can summon out to the field for free. Um, then of course it's evolution of effect or upon evolution or attacking um, the top two cards of your deck is discarded then level three and below opponent one copy of Digimon is deleted the, if your trash has 10 cards um, you can for each 10 cards in your trash you can increase the level of the effect by one so this is actually pretty good i'm gonna put this here and let's fast forward through the rest of the cards all right so this is the first appearance of Hi uh, hirokazu so it's a pretty long windy text i'm a bit lazy right now <laughs> to read it please guys go check it out um yeah and we have the regular edition of Gardomon, so we already gotten the parallel for it in the last box. Alright, so we have the evil version of Ruri uh, when she got absorbed by Mother the Reaper, so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, first appearance of Sento Garugomon. Um, very, very badass looking artwork. Although it has like cute missile pods. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why, what the artists were thinking. But anyway, upon evolution, if you have a green tamer around, opponent's one Digimon is put to rest uh, until the opponent. Tsugi no Aite no active phase. During opponent. Uh, during your opponent's next active phase, uh, this Digimon act cannot be so no Digimon cannot be active. Okay, so the Digimon that you put to rest during your opponent's next active phase cannot be active uh, or cannot cannot put, put put to stand basically. So yeah, they cannot be put into active position. Um, then upon attacking once per turn, Kono Digimon uh, DP Ijo Resto. Okay, so during attacking, uh, when it's attacking once per turn, um, one of opponent's Digimon that is in rest position, uh, that is lower than this Digimon's DP, is returned to hand. So that's pretty cool. Okay, 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 chill. Oh, I'm too excited, the camera is moving. <laughs> so we finally pull out the second most expensive Tamer uh, parallel version in this set, which is Takato. Um, like I said, the Duke Mon or Gallon Mon deck is actually kind of a meta deck. And even in this era of BT10, um, it's still very playable. That's why it is very expensive to find a full art edition of this card. 
So very, very nice. I'm very happy that I got this. Uh, although it would be nice to see if I can get a uh, rookie. Okay, okay. So we got the Marine Angelmon finally. So yeah, so if you remember the Tamer's effect, you can actually play this out um, pretty cheap. And then uh, upon play, Okay, so if if Opon has a Digimon that doesn't have any evolution lines below it, um, you basically can recover. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, so we have the parallel version of Lee. Very, very nice. I'm loving how the cross glitters. And yeah, we don't get a lot of parallels with such treatments anymore. Probably the better looking parallels for any tamer in any booster boxes uh, from the Digimon series so far. Why can't we have illustrators like this come back? <laughs> all the other Digimon series um, booster boxes oh dang that looks really really nice thank goodness okay so let's move on oh <laughs> so this is the first appearance of Aki Yama Ryo uh, just the Mon's Tamer. So on play, uh, top four cards of your deck open. Uh, if you have the name Doramon or uh, Just the Mon within those four cards, um, you basically take one of them and add it to your hand, and the rest put them to back to the bottom of the deck in any way you like. During your own turn, if you have a black Digimon attack, you can tap um, Rio Sun here. And then, of course, until the uh, until the end of opponent's next turn, this Digimon gains uh, one thousand DP. So not too bad, not too bad. Kuromon's parallel red. This is extremely, extremely nice. Even though it's probably the least used card in the Tamer series. But it's so pretty, oh my goodness, look at that. And it has the three Tamers, or rather just Takato's Gilmon Evolution line at the back. It would have been nice if it's all the three Tamers. But still, very, very nice parallel rare. Oh my goodness. This is, I don't see this a lot being sold as well. I wonder how much it is. <laughs> if it's very cheap, I might get a few from other people just for the lows. Okay, so we got our first Impmon Parallel Rare. You can see uh, the two original tamers of Impmon together with him looking all smiley like a family. Uh, if only it was like this all the way through. <laughs> Poor Impmon.
Okay, so we have the regular edition right now. Uh, Maggie, Do Maggie Doramon. So, yeah, regular edition. We've seen the parallel version already. So, that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, so we have our third Tamer Parallel and of course it belongs to Rio and that looks really really cool. Look at that texturing at the back. Very very nice. So yeah, let's keep going. And our first appearance of Justimon. Oh my goodness, we've opened so many boxes already and yet we finally see him. So upon evolution, if you have what? Oh, you can activate one of the effects. So the first dot um, for this turn, this Digimon gains 2000 power. Then the second dot, um, this Digimon becomes active. Third dot, its uh, appearance cost um, appearance cost 5 and below opponents 1 Digimon is deleted. Upon attacking once per turn, um, you can... If you have one Digimon around... Uh, no, one Tamer around. Doesn't have to be his Black Tamer. Um, Kono Digimon no Shinkaji Koka. Oh, you can reactivate his um, evolution ability one more time. So yeah, you get to... I guess you, if you want to, you can actually choose to destroy two cost five and below Digimons. Um, if not, you can restand twice, basically. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So from from the looks of things, um, from all the boxes that I've opened so far, that each box comes with two parallels. We've yet to see another parallel, um, and sometimes each of the boxes may contain two to three uh, super rares. But usually, when they have three super rares. The parallels may not be the best, um, from what I can tell, especially since the last box gave me two horrible parallels, uh, <laughs> Impmon and the Gardromon, so nothing fantastic, but this box seems pretty good so far. Let's see what the last parallel may be for this box. Oh my goodness, we just pulled out the most expensive Digitama parallel in this set. Digimon, look at that, it's so adorable, round puffy ball Digimon baby with round balloons in the background. That is just so adorable. This box is freaking awesome, we got a parallel tamer, we get a parallel Digitama. Oh my goodness, it's probably the best box we've got so far. Uh, aside from maybe the one we pulled Takato out from um, in a pair of Takato. So, I don't know, we get to see Ru um, I think what's her name? Ruri? I think that's her name. Renamon's Tamer Parallel? I don't know, let's see. Did we, did we pull her out here? It might be in the stack that I threw it in. Anyways, uh, hopefully the last box that we have might contain something good. So let's jump right into the last box as well so I'm gonna shift the cards here okay and let's dive straight into the last box oh my goodness it is finally the end my back is aching once again if you guys have watched me unbox that whole non monster of a case of BT10 you know how much pain I was in recording that this is this is six boxes and it's still tiring as ever as I remember it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need a better setup. Oh god. Okay, let's keep going.
all right so we've technically pulled up everything out from this box already we got a horrible imp mon parallel but we did get the gigi mon parallel so that's not too bad but still pretty horrendous a box uh, we didn't even come across any secrets in our six boxes so i guess whoever um, bought the remaining boxes from the case um, got pretty lucky i guess we didn't have any secrets at all so this is kind of a bummer but still we got some nice tree tamers uh, out of the six boxes so i'm not too bummed out entirely three out of three i i guess two out of six boxes were horrible but still not too bad of an outcome considering it's a plus on uh, that more positive note so let's take a look at the last pack here before we end things up um, so guys yeah so this is ex02 japanese set um yep there we go so we didn't get the most uh, expensive tamer out of the the whole set um which is rookie if i'm not wrong we pulled her out earlier i was staring at it for a bit if you guys noticed at the fast forward motion um where is she there she is so yeah it's rookie rookie chan so yeah then pull her out as a parallel that's kind of a bummer but anyways let's put things aside and let's take a look at the summary of what we got um from all six boxes so immediately as you can tell we got two rare parallels and we got three srs from the last box as you can tell so let's take a look at how um the rare rate of appearances is like throughout the boxes okay so we've seen the last box so yeah so each box has two parallels so two parallels from here and three srs two parallels from here three srs two parallels from here two srs so so yeah this box even though it had two awesome well to me personally i think it's two awesome parallels because kulumon is actually pretty nice in terms of illustration um and yeah so lee is pretty good as well um but sadly to say we are lacking in the sr department but we did get duke mon so that's not too bad then we had takato and this so we've got three srs from here and then of course we've got an sr parallel um and two srs so yeah so overall i think i think we did pretty good considering that we did get um this few i suppose well there's a bot is pretty okay as well in terms of in terms of most expensive cards in the set um yeah it's 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 not too bad i think <laughs> i think personally for me there's sakuya mon i think there's a few sakuya mons around so yeah yeah um so yeah personally so i think generally these are the more expensive cards in the set itself i think so i might be wrong or at least the cards that people are mostly looking for within the set so pretty decent pull out of six boxes i would say um we got three of the tamers at least i think we are missing um who else are we missing we are missing, missing rookie we are missing um i think all of the tamers do they have all parallels i am not sure i can't remember off the top of my head i know the girl that has leomon as a partner does have a parallel as well um i'm not too sure if the the guy that has the Mac marine Ingermon has parallel tamer i think he doesn't um i think the guy that has gadromon also doesn't have a parallel tamer card yeah so um so yeah i think i think there's only like a few tamers that actually got parallels maybe five i think it's five of them maybe i don't know I, I have to go check up the wiki again anyway guys that's it for ex02 let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below tell me which digimon series is your favorite mine is definitely tamers i am liking ghost game uh quite a bit so far we've only seen 
uh, Jellybon Sama up to her ultimate form. We have yet to see Angoromon go to his ultimate form. Um, we haven't seen Gamma Mon go to its ultimate. Oh, we have actually. It's kind of got a canon wise mon. So um, we are still waiting upon the mega evolutions for each of them, or maybe they might have some kind of Jogress or I don't know um, hybrid evolution. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for today. It's been a very tiring day. I actually recorded the uh, start decks for Duke Mon and uh, was the the other one. <laughs> I uh I v, v I can't remember what oh Vmon what v, elf elf force v, Vmon I think so I I'm extremely tired right now I need to go sleep I have a job interview tomorrow in the morning oh god it's been a really really busy day and the Digimon Championship is coming up as well guys I'm really stressed out I'm really exhausted especially if for those of you guys who are following me my YouTube channel for Utan Across you would know how tired I am because the game just ended I'm still doing all the editing to put up onto YouTube so bear with me guys there's more Digimon card game stuff on the way I don't know if I would do one piece but if I do I'll let you guys know until then guys I'll see you guys soon bye